Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we have entered the domain of the fire direct of the not fire dragon, fire giants. Although there is a fire dragon, red dragon, that's around here somewhere, and hopefully we yes. discover what he's up to, or rather, you know, take out his creepy machinations that may or may not lead to him getting youth or younger I, I don't fully know what's going on with him all I know is that he's an old ass dragon and it's getting on in old, his old ass ears and something to do with dragon eggs I'm making it so as he can I don't know live longer get younger weird shit like that so we are going to hit up this east area unless I don't know which which side of this domain would really count as hit first because I'm pretty sure that I would have explored that door first but eh, well we'll see it's a big place That's it. <laughs> it's a big, big, big place. That's really all I got. Chop them up, chop them up, chop, 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 Fire Elementals, Hellhounds, King Scrog himself. Oh my lord. Yeah, do me a favor, don't piss off. Alright, you, you piss off King Scrog. Nicely done. Well, to say I'm surprised that Dalen died would be a lie. Chug. Nah, I won't. You, on the other hand, you're going the way of the dodo, sir. So, what's his AC? Because they seem to keep on missing on a 30. Wait. Yeah. Dude's near death. Come on, keep on chopping. Chop chop away there. There we go. You know, I was expecting a little bit more of a fight out of him, but then again. The stone details the process of capturing a dragon's essence within a dragon's sphere. The ritual is most effective when used upon a newly hatched worm whose growth has been accelerated using spells and enchantments, a beast whose mind is still empty and pure. Only these have the vitality and energy of youth necessary to prolong the life of the mighty Clouth. The creature to be absorbed must be lured or trapped within the center of the ritual circle and the dragon's sphere must be placed upon the pedestal. The dragon's body will be instantly consumed even if its very life force is sucked into the sphere itself for Clouth to feed on at his leisure. But a warning lest you displease the master and suffer his terrible wrath, should a dead dragon's body be absorbed, the sphere must be destroyed immediately. If it is mistakenly presented to Clouth, he may devour the essence of the dead worm, poisoning him and dealing his awesome might a crippling blow. Oh. Picture of a golem on one side of this amulet and a rune of warding on the other. Oh. So I needed that for passing by a golem, which I probably would have honestly tried to kill. <clears throat> so he sustain sustains his life by taking the life essence of younger dragons, newly hatched, putting it into an orb, and then devouring it. That ain't cool. Hmm. So I wonder how much more of this place there is. 
or where Klaus is. That's a deep cave. Which means that this is probably not the way I want to go. I probably want to go the other way first. Or this way leads... Uh, this might just lead to the experimentation labs. Oh. Okay. That one right there just says Klaus Lair. Never mind. I know which way we're going now. Son of a bitch. Everything is trapped here. Everything is trapped. No more monsters. Can't rest after exhausting exerting yourself. Exerting. There we go. <coughs> uh, the logical thing to do would try to be trying to find some sort of ranged weapon of badass them and using that or ranged spells even in order to destroy these chests from afar. But that ain't Darius's way. Breaking every single chest along the way to Klaus' domain. That's his way. Alright, so if that's Klaus' domain... Oh, hello. Hello, Slod. Of course they're slot. Why wouldn't they be slot? Oh, stop summoning red ones, you goddamn pansies. Fight your own fight. Goddamn slot. If there's one thing, one way to make me easily annoyed at this point in this game, it's just to summon up Slod. Alright, that's a deep cave, random deep cave, more deep caves. I really don't have any interest in the Slod's tongue anymore. Just stop trying to present me Slod tongues. Uh, so many deep caves. I wonder if that's where they keep the eggs. And really, I don't blame Gorgotha there to being paranoid about adventurers being, you know, egg happy or even loot happy. Seeing as she's got a freaking really old, really powerful red dragon that wants her eggs. That sounds weird or went out of context. Like, if you don't include the dragon part, it sounds really weird out of context. But we'll see how that goes. Maybe I gotta... God. I don't know if I want to poison him, though. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. It is like... Oh, slot cavern. God damn it. Don't be red. Don't be red, Slod. Okay, it's gray. I better buff up before I do anything here, though. But yeah, um... God, what was I just about to say? Because as much as and as dangerous as a red dragon is... That stupid part of me that believes in a fair fight, even against the greatest of evils, is like, I mean, he may be a giant evil dragon that's, you know, absorbing the youth of other baby dragons. But come on. He does still deserves a fair fight. And then the other part of me goes, really, man? Yeah, really. I don't know if that part of me is just, you know, being fair for the sake of being fair, or... Just wants to see if we can survive the challenge. 
Alright, there's a death slot here. Death slots are nasty. Impossible. Creatures of chaos, death slotty, are the rulers of their frog-like kind. Aside from their considerable magical powers, they're also gifted fighters. So even if I was turned invisible for this fight, uh, would have been pretty damn hard. Because he could see invisib invisibility. Why am I fighting this guy? I guess that wasn't that hard. Then again, I was super buffed, so... Another ritual book. Most effective hatch creature to be absorbed must be lured. Alright. Don't know why the death slot had a, um... Ritual book. Unless this is the ritual circle in question. Hmm. Fascinating. He says, not really understanding most any of this. <laughs> like, not even counting Darius. Darius and, you know, Darius Stomu barbarian here. Freaking... Freaking most concepts of magic go way over my head. That is a double axe. Red Tiger Double Axe. Beast worshippers from the Isles west of Chult. The Red Tigers have proven very resilient to outside pressure, remaining active while other isolated pr peoples have disappeared. It is a talent that has served them well, and even the design of their weaponry seems cross-cultural. While mindful of their origins, they have incorporated, among others, both elven and dwarven ritual references, a combination neither group has cared to attempt on their own. Dodge feet as a bonus feet. Nice. Too bad it's large. Wonder if that's the weapon that D Dalen actually needs. No, it's gotta be the spear. Sorry, keep on my knocking my microphone. The spear is the only one that makes sense. It's the Uthgard spear that was lost by the youth. I'm gonna guess that the youth was actually him. And it's not like he was telling some sort of cautionary tale. He was just saying, Yeah, I was young. I was dumb. I was stupid. I lost the sphere. The spear. I wonder if I can... Wait, Dragon Dungeon. Did I accidentally enter Clouth Slayer? I'd rather not do Clouth uh, first. Nope, just a deep cave. Dragon Dungeon. Watch all the things in here kick my ass. Hello? Oh, Wan T. Hello. Hi. That's a blue dragon. Uh huh. That's a nice and tangled spell you got there. God, you're all stupid. I barely even touched you. I'll get right with you, Mr. Dragon. Hmm. Do I slay the blue dragon? Or do I keep him on as an ally? Would you be an ally? Hi. Hungry. Food. Food? Hungry. Who are you? What are you doing here? Food? Feed me. Hungry. Food. Not too bright for a dragon, are you? Hungry. Food. Food. Yeah, okay, get the picture. You're not... Oh, you are a just hatched blue dragon. And they've been magically manipulating you so as you grow to the size of a goddamn adult dragon. Oh, there's some confliction there. He's clearly just hungry. 
I guess I won't slay a freaking blue dragon that probably just barely came to consciousness. Dragon or pedestal? What now? Wait. So if I were to s hmm, there was a thing in the ritual books. If I were to slay him in the middle of this circle, what is this? Newly hatched. Only these have the vitality and energy of youth necessary to prolong the life of the cloud. At least you displeased. Okay. Trap must, must be lured or trapped within the center of a ritual circle. The dragon sphere must be placed upon the pedestal. The dragon's body will be instantly consumed. So the dead dragon's body be absorbed, the sphere must be destroyed immediately. If it is mistakenly presented to Cloud, he may devour the essence of the dead worm, poisoning him and dealing his awesome might a crippling blow. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. I feel kind of bad for this, seeing as he is... I mean, he's still overpowering. Because he's an old freaking dragon. But he's not old freaking dragon in the mind, you know? Wow, I am missing so much. I thought I was blessed. Critical. There it is. Man, as much as I usually take pleasure out of, slay, of uh, slaying evil dragons, newly born evil dragons are an entire other thing. I'm doing this as a backup. I want everyone to know. Sorry, buddy. Because if I end up not able to slay the ancient flipping red dragon... in his full might, then yeah, I gotta use the sphere. Which means I gotta save just before I enter the place. Man. <clears throat> just man. Much prefer just to leave the blue dragon as he is, or learn him a thing or two about not being an evil dick dragon that most evil dick dragons end up raising themselves to be as. I'd say that it ends up being just a matter of their environment. But man... I don't think that there's ever really been much of a story of evil dra- Oh, hi. Of an evil dragon raising their young, really. Like maybe to a point, and then they just kick him out of the maybe kick him out of the nest as newborns. Yeah, that's no. That's adorable. Tremble before me, says the giant. Don't even drop any loot. All right, so this way leads to Klaus. Man, as much as I want to take on Klauth right now, I really, really do. I'm going to hold off just a bit longer. Because I want to... How the hell did I get around this place? God damn it, this place is annoying. Because what I want to do is explore the rest of the place before I go... Now, up, up, and away, and killing things. I'm wording terribly right now, but that's mostly because just <sighs> it's a long game. <laughs> like I, I constantly compare my game lengths to Alundra, which has so far been my longest. With I think. 72 episodes? And I think 
I'm trying to think of some of the games that had reached that long, but there weren't many. Alright. Quick dip into the northern region, if only just to see what the hell is here. Now, thinking about it too, yeah, what is this? This is just like portal. Yep, portal, some sort. Wait. That was some magic mirror shit going down. Not a hole in a wall. The hell game. Ah, more Drugar. Excellent, excellent. I won't, wouldn't doubt that these Drugar would have a sneak attack too. Hello. Oh man, there's so many of you guys. So many of you. I can't possibly deal with so many mighty warriors. I say, tauntingly. There we go. I'm gonna crush. Might have been locked. You never know. Ooh, 75 gold pieces. There's one thing to say about this place, though. It has been loaded. And I do mean loaded with goods. 68, or 68 gold pieces. Yep, that's... That's the number, you red dar. Ow, that one actually hurt. Part of me really wants to go back and see about getting Linu again, but also part of me wants to just... Just see how how long I can actually fend off everything on my on my own simply by like resting and whatnot. But then again, it also does lengthen everything I do here just a little bit. Ten to fifteen seconds, just chilling out on the floor. Uh, more fire giants. Are you a champion? Nah, you're Nothing just a regular one. Away. Nothing walks away. I'm surprised you guys can fit through that door. Tink. Tink. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, I'm gonna blast myself. Took some attacks of opportunity for that, but... Good old blessing. Why are you not attacking? Thank you. I only have one more potion of heal, too. Which is probably the most distressing part because if I. When I get into the fight with a red freaking dragon, I'm gonna need it. Boy, this is a sight. Just a single swing of one of those swords would definitely cut Darius in half. Like, if we're talking real life, but, you know, introducing real life mechanics and physics sometimes is just... <sighs> just don't. Nothing walks away. Like, we're talking about a world where you can do certain rituals or just walk through a or just walk through a, like any sort of portal be it a door or window or underneath something and bam you find yourself in another dimension so however real you want to have your game cool but sometimes sometimes you just want to be a three foot tall gnome that takes on 20 foot Tall giants with only an axe. A second drinking again. Oh, God. Fun fact 
I probably drink way more water than I really should. Why? Well, because I have myself a, I bought, I initially bought myself a 32 ounce, um, what are they called? The bottles. Wow, I forgot what the name of the bottle was. Ammo. Lock, you say? Oh, hello. Prisoners. And I end up drinking like three or four of those. Hello. I greet you. Praise the gods. We were we when we heard you outside the door, we thought you were giants coming to haul us off to the kitchens. Sorry, who are you? We're simple farmers. Gi fire giants captured us in a raid, and now we are held prisoner until they decide to feast on our bones. Please take us with you. Our families will reward you if you save us. It's too dangerous to come with me. It's far more dangerous if we stay. Please take us with you. Our families will reward you greatly for saving us. Just stay here. I'll come back for you later. You're not as foolish as we assume, gnome creature, but that will not be enough to save you. Excuse you? Oh. Shape changing. Wan T. Lovely. Are you seriously trying to punch me? You're seriously trying to punch me. I question everything about your intelligence. I... okay. Okay, I've collected so many ritual books, it's not even funny. Neverwinter Wood. Deep Water. Books. Nothing walks away. Yeah, I won't lie, that is amusing. Say the least. Oh, hey, we're going to trick this individual adventurer to try to get him to have us come with him so that when he might least expect it, we will punch him in the back of the head when he's fighting a giant. That'll learn him. Uh. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, 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 you're invisible, I get it. I mean, I suppose that the... Yeah, the rogue going invisible might actually be deadly to me, but... Would you lads just hold still for just a hot minute? Thank you. Chop, 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 chop. And you time. Okay. So we slew those guys. So much random loot around here. It's honestly so ridiculous. I have so many potions of cure critical, I might as well actually start Nothing using them. Walks away. Nothing walks away. Not even this chest. It's a chest. It could have been a mimic. Damn it. Nothing new. Again, I feel so satisfied in just absolutely destroying everything that I see at this point. No having to rely on Tommy. No worrying about treasures being busted because I could have sworn that that was a thing. Maybe it was a thing that they removed. I don't know. Point is... Not a thing I have to worry about. Alright. What do we got around here? Oh. More Drugar. Uh-huh. Nice attack there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There doesn't seem to be much more of this place, though. Then I can go back and see about trying to deal with the ancient freaking dragon. Boy, that's gonna be smart. You die. Oh, ability damage. Here, you and me. 
You win. All right. Where's my potion of... No, wait. Wouldn't it be antidote? It would be restoration. Hmm. Restoration plus no, oh, what a big antidote. This was a disease. Yeah, fortitude save, disease. I mean, I'll try an antidote. Oh, yep, was an antidote. Can't rest while there's enemies nearby. Chug. 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 Yeah. You know, in full honesty, just thinking about it, if it weren't for worrying about the goddamn NPCs dying every half second, Tommy, then, I don't know, I'd almost say that I could play most of this. Well, I guess not most. A good chunk of this without having to worry about healing, seeing as how many freaking potions I get, how much random money I get. Because then I can just buy all my potions and money and the healing and the stuff. Yes, buy my, buy my money. That's what I gotta do with it. Alright, open the door. Mmm... There were enemies relatively close, so they've got to be in this room first. Yup. Blood, Blood and glory indeed. Okay, they got themselves some regular in invisibility. Which makes it so as you're invisible until you pretty much do most anything. Cleave, cleave, cleave through the evil dwarves. There are so many evil dwarves in this game. I'm just saying. There's the one that could have been a companion. There's all the goddamn evil dwarves that were apparently part of the Luskin army. Times of trouble. Okay, what do we have over here, anyways? Oh, hey, an ogre. Uh, oh. Oh, he's summoning fire giants by doing that? Please stop that. Wow, you are annoyingly tough. I might actually die. No, I won't. Okay, maybe I still will. Oh, come on. Come on. At least one of you go down. I was already badly wounded. That's a plus. So, smashing those caused fire elementals to come out. Also, this is not huge. I'm disappointed in what you consider to be huge game. I mean, of course I'm going to smash the rest of them, but come on, give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, way less than 50% uh, of my HP right now, so... <sighs> da, da 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 Gonna save and hit this chest. Yeah. Screw that chest, particularly. My lord. Nothing here. Honestly, I might honestly have to. Whatever yeah. shopping I next do. And selling this shit, I'm probably going to do off stream, off stream, off uh, recording. Because I got so much random crap.
Just so much random crap. It's not even funny. I mean, it's a little bit funny, but still. Come on. Only 72 experience. Nothing walks away. Screw you, chest. Money. Ogre had 10 gold pieces. Alright. By the way, those were extremely fragile. The uh, summoning altars. You know, for being made of stone. Oh, cannot carry anymore. Can't carry any more. Because I've got so many freaking cultists journals. That I no longer hecking need. Get rid of that. That there. Put that there. Put that there. That there. Oh wait, let me guess. Yep, locked. Here I was trying to make it so as there was nothing I needed to worry about when it came to inventory space, and then here I am having to worry about the inventory space. Oh well, let me guess. Another ogre? Fire giant? Dire spiders. I guess that's a worry. Yeah, man. Hit the guy. I won't lie. Cleave is infinitesimally better in these games than they are in actual physical tabletop. Like, yeah, you could, in theory, get a chain of critical hits on a bunch of creatures and just swath through an entire bunch of monsters but honestly a lot of the times if you're a higher level you ain't gonna be able to slay shit not with one swing of an axe did I ever go this way no I did not that's another Draugr mm-hmm mm. That's so satisfying. Of course, part of that is also in because of how they changed what can increase your critical hits when it comes to the tabletop version or 3.5, just in general. Because in 3.5, they change it so as a bunch of stuff does not stack. Like wholesale, pretty much anything that can increase your critical hit range, only one thing will do that. Like if you have keen, only that will. Or if you have improved critical, only that will. Which, I kind of get it. I really do. They made it so as it nerves it significantly so as it doesn't, you know, Make it so goddamn ridiculous. Rags? Belladonna. Okay. And so that people can't pick up a Kukri, which has a crit range of like 17 to 20, and make it so as you effectively critical hit every, I don't know, every other literal attack. Part of me thinks I should really head back to town really quickly in order to get my henchmen back. Maybe to heal, and maybe to get a couple of potions of heal. Before I initiate experiments, uh, kill it with axes while it's at its strongest. Because it's still an ancient red dragon. Which is, if I... Hello. Which I feel I must reiterate, is the strongest 
age category for a dragon outside of using the epic level handbook. <sighs> Which I don't think they get into until you have... Um... Until we get to Hordes of the Underdark, which honestly, I don't know. I can only deal with so many underground caverns and whatnot. I say as I play a game that is a good chunk underground caverns. Oh, right. God damn it. It's a good thing I have haste. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit more ticked off than I am about that blockage. Why have that block? Why even have that there on the map? If the blockage is there and just. Mm. I, I just don't get why they put that there. All right. I guess we'll go and get our henchmen back. After I talk to Nurik. Am I saying his name right? Nurik. Need a healing. I mean, really, I don't, but, you know, purchase some supplies. I gotta sell some of this shit. There's just so much of it. Arrow the Vampire, Fire Arrows. Yeah, those would have been useless against him. Paralytic Bolts. You know, I'm going to be a little bit stupid and keep this Red Tiger Double Axe just in case. For just, just a little bit. A little bit of time. Ugh, balls. Fail. Guess I can just sell these Bodak ones. Really don't need them. I really don't need the dragon's blood, but I might as well keep it. Look at protection plus three. I would sell that. Chainmail. It's also reducing my. Oh, the amulet of power. I'll do that. Also significantly reducing my carrying stuff right now which is good because there's a lot of carrying stuff <laughs> selling stuff and all of the things <sighs> I feel like this cloak of protect of protection versus evil would be really good to use against him but at the same time He's going to be casting fire and whatnot as well. Alright, do you have the potions of healing? I could have sworn you have... Okay, there's the potions of healing. Two. Yes. I kind of hate how you can't... Shift click? No. Control click? No. Alt click? I just want to enter a number and go, hey, I want this many potions of healing. Please gib. Eh. All right, where'd they go in my inventory? I'm going to put them on my bar as soon as I find them. Oh, yeah. Can I identify this? Club of Smiting. Oh, dang it. Slay racial group DC 14 constructs. So essentially this is only going to do a D6 plus 1 damage. But if it were to strike on a construct every single time that you hit them, they need to make a... Four, what kind of save would that be? Fortitude save? Regardless. Or be destroyed. That's none too shabby. I actually might keep that. If only if I ever get really annoyed with constructs. Because they're all, oh, look at me. I'm immune to critical hits. Seriously, where do those potions go? There we are. I'll buy... Uh, 
that many. Now, mind you, that's not going to help our good buddy I found Dalen any. But by God. My God. I probably spent more money on just buying those potions than anything else. Probably. So, why don't we go say hey, hello, hi to Klauth, the ancient red dragon. Oh, oh, look at this map. That is just, oh, that is a way to tell your players, hey, you probably don't actually want to screw with this. Fireballs, really? I feel like that would be so beneath you, Klaus. And there he is. Ancient Red Dragon. Alright, I wanna poke him first. I wanna I wanna have a uh, just a little chat. A little chat with the guy. He's clearly got no interest in immediately killing us. So let's go ahead and have a rest. This is such a bad idea. It's almost not even funny. Hi. So at last you have come. I assume my fire giant servants are dead. No matter. They are of little consequence to me. I can find other servants. Perhaps even you will serve. Come closer. I will not harm you. These last days of the eons of my life pass slowly now, and I would speak with you to break the monotony. I have decided to take your evil head as a trophy worm. Then your life will end, Darius. I have seen what awaits beyond this world. A void of still darkness. Are you ready to face the bleak nothingness beyond this life? Speak with me if you dare, or flee like an insignificant fleck of dust before storming glory of my existence. But do not attack me unless you are ready for death. Well, I'm ready to face my death, Klaus. Are you? The wisdom of eternity speaks, but you refuse to listen. So be it. I shall break you. I shall bring you the death you so eagerly seek. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is such a bad idea. Uninjured. I'm sorry, did that uninjure? Oh, no, barely injured. He <laughs> he, he's taking damage. I'm willing to do this, Klaus. I'm going to do this. Oh, I probably should have at least blessed before this uh, idiocy. Potion. Potion. Endurance. For the potions. Oh, you dispelling bastard. That was a dispel magic. You crafty jackass. Alright. Alright, we're doing this mono and mono then. Oh, what spell is that? Anytime you want to rejoin the fight, Dalen, you're more than welcome to. I'm doing this unaided by that goddamn egg. Look at you. Ooh. Now he's actually fighting. Ooh, 91 damage. Oh, man. Ah, oh, if it weren't for that dispel magic. Although he is primarily trying to hit me now. Well, he's also attacking with plus 21. So, if I were, 
Now, if I go bark skin only, maybe he won't consider it as much of a threat as it should be. Or he could do outright 129 damage to me. That could be a thing, too. Ah, I need complete fire immunity. Not just, not just 15 points of damage, complete fire immunity. Hmm. I want to do this without having to use that sphere. I really, 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 really do. But he's going to dispel magic on me like the second he gets into we get into combat. So as much as I want to, I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. Right, that's fire damage, which against a freaking dragon is next to useless. And then if I get super unlucky, I'm going to fail my saving throw and take a shite load of fire damage. So I think start the combat. No, not Eagle Splendor. Bark Skin. And just go for the assault. I probably don't want to use power attack either. Yeah, his HP is so high. Holy crap. Covered in wicked looking wicked looking scars, the ancient colossal red dragon nicknamed Old Snarl is perhaps the most fearsome and powerful single mortal creature in all of Faerun. He is not resistant to cold. That's increased damage. But he has spell immunity, immunity, sneak attack, paralysis, not mind spells, knockdown. Ugh. And just as a dragon, he has spell resist resistance. Oh, that wasn't... huh. Okay, how about now? Because then I can... Endurance... Yep. I think he actually reduced my saving throws. Let's get a bless on too. Wait, no, that's aid. Bless. Kind of an important thing to remember too is that. Um, oh god, that is so much damage. Is that dragons have what's called frightful presence? Because they're so old and so powerful, they can just straight up their sheer being there is terrifying. So, Red Tiger there is not exactly in the best of states. Seeing as he can straight up die in one hit. Ah, there he goes. He dispelled magic on me. There's that. Well, that's a firestorm. I pretty much just gotta hope he keeps on running out of spells. Critical! He's injured! I stand a chance. Alright, drink the simple potion. I don't know what that is. Kinda sucked. Kinda surprised he's not simple. Oh, there's greater dispelling happening. There it is. Potion of endurance. Stone skin. Attacking. 
I'm taking you down, Klaus. You like it or not. I probably should heal just in case he tries to use fire breath. Of course, there's a question. That's a good question to ask. Because I think... Uh, oh, God damn it, I really wish I was able to remember this shit. 3.5 dragons. 3.0, 3.5 dragons. I'm trying to remember whether or not they had a number of times that they could cast, spell, cast their fire breath. Ooh. Drink. When facing down a freaking red dragon that is older than age and time itself, hydrate. I am rapidly running out of potions. I got all the cure of wounds in the world. Where's the rest of my... Antidote, lesser. I've already got bark skin on. I don't need to try that. I'm feeling like an idiot here. Where's the... Oh. Okay, seven total. Come on. Just a few good hits on him. Alright. Heal, heal, heal. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, he's just batting me. That bark skin is doing next to nothing. Come on, waste your turns doing spell casting shit. I should have used an actual potion. Ah, dang it. Damn it. I'm gonna... Oh, he's near death. Can I do this in three more heal potions? Oh, come on. I was mid-animation, you piece of shit. I'm not done with you. Ah. Uh. Damn it. So close, but I knew I know I need more heal potions. <sighs> and an ally that won't be a piece of shit and just run away, despite the fact that he gives me a goddamn amulet that provides me with immunity versus fear. I clicked the wrong thing. I think part of that might have just been out of frustration because ah is there anything you have that would provide me resistance to wear? Any other power, health, scare, protection? No. Nope. Don't quite think you do. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I'm spending so much money on heal potions just so as I can ruin this guy's whole existence. Alright, Klaus. I really need to get as much damage in as I can. Oh my god! You're actually attacking! No, there he goes. <laughs> Holy crap, you're being useful! And then he runs away like a goddamn baby. Come on, more crits. That's all we need. It's already injured. Yes. He's honestly probably casting spells on himself as well that are just like, oh, I have all of the, all of the AC now. Alright. 
he immediately dispelled my bark skin. Only slightly annoying. But I got the potions to do this. I just gotta time it right. Come on. I want to get him at least to badly injured. Ooh, uh, yep. That's a neat trick. I got one too. It's called Hit the Dragon. Do I use Endurance now? Oh, yeah, I better. Woo. That was such a well timed one. Alright, if I rage, I'm going to get a hit more often, but at the same time, he's already hitting me at, like, plus 24. His chances of hitting me are slim. Of missing me, rather, are slim. But I might as well rage. Did I rage? I did not rage. Heal. You know what? Keep on firestorming, please. Critical. Come on. Yes. He's near death. He's so close. I can taste the sweet victory. This would be the mightiest foe ever for him to face in this game. I don't care what the final boss is. Gonna heal just in case he pulls something out of his arse. And he's a he's an ancient dragon. Colossal size. He's got a lot. Yes! Slain. <laughs> uh I don't care that I spent twenty thousand plus gold on this one stupid achievement of going and facing off against the red dragon and not using the goddamn dead dragon baby eggs. I don't care that I'm sitting here alone without goddamn Dalen to help me. I've slain a colossal ancient red dragon today. Ah. Uh. Yeah, if Gorgotha didn't want that freaking... Oh, let me guess. Blade of Rashimi. Okay. If Gorgotha didn't probably want... Uh, that better not be armor of fire resistance. That better not be armor of fire resistance. I swear to God, if that's armor of fire resistance, that's... That's pulling a thing straight out of freaking plus three battle axe and the third word of power the third word is yours but time is short and more egg stirs <laughs> the city you call Neverwinter is under siege soon it will fall to Morgrim and he will possess the source stone uh what now Morag was the queen of my people the old ones, the creator race. It was she who created the source stone when the world became cold and the snow covered the land. Morag used the words to put her people into a deep hibernation when the cold winter came, imprisoning the heat of the steam fissures in the magical source stone. And her and all her people with it. Why'd she imprison herself inside? Well, the answer to that is obvious. The old ones could not survive the coming of the winter storm. <sighs> Morag sought a shelter where she could escape the death of ice and cold. Within the source stone, Morag would gather her strength year after year. Century after century. 
When her power waxed cool, we word slaves would awaken the queen to banish the never-ending winter. How did Magram become involved in all this? Something has awakened Morag's spirit. Though her body and true power remain trapped in the source stone for now. She speaks to Morgrim through projections, as I am speaking to you. Morgrim serves her, a pawn blinded by her promises of rewards and power. <laughs> the plague was the first step in Morag's return. Each death fed the Queen's power. Bringing her closer to a true awakening. Now, Morgrim seeks to claim the words of power the Lord's Alliance has hidden in Castle Never to complete the awakening. If he succeeds, Morag will bring complete and utter devastation to the North. Somehow I'll stop Morgrim. <laughs> you must return to Neverwinter. Before the city falls, speak to the one you call Aaron Gend. I will try to meet you there. I mean, I know I got the word of power and all that fun stuff, but and having the uh, having her suddenly talk to you right in, right after that victory, little downplaying of the fact that you just slew an ancient goddamn red dragon. But you know what? I don't care. I slew an ancient goddamn red dragon. So, I'm gonna go ahead, save here, and call it an episode when we return. Um, I wanna try one really quick thing when it comes to Klaus. Oh wait, I also gotta return to Gorgotha in order to give her the head so that I can get some sort of reward. Regardless, we're gonna deal with that, and then we're going to talk to Eren again where Supposedly, we gotta return to Castle Never. Neverwinter. Yeah, there. In any case, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.